What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today we're gonna be doing a uh, transmission service on my 2008 Ford Edge. Got uh, some fluid here and there, and uh, it should be the same for any 2007, I think, to like 2012 or something like that Ford Edges. So first thing you want to do is get up on jack stands. Now I'm in this little ass garage. But basically, you take your jack, take your jack stand, always use jack stands, and I never use my pinch welds because they're just rustier than hell. You know, Wisconsin vehicle, very, very rusty underneath. I go right to the frame. I jack up on the frame, and I put the uh, jack stand right there on the subframe, or in the frame, really good solid piece. This way you're safe. If you jack up on these, it'll just destroy, go right through your floor. So, once you got safely on jack stands, I only have to use one for this, I don't need two, but uh, this, uh, this is where we're at now. <coughs> Next thing we're gonna do, find your transmission. Okay, so get yourself a drain pan. Okay, on the Ford, this is the driver's side, okay, rope underneath it, right uh, there, here, and here are your drain plugs. This is a sealed transmission. Your oil pan is right there. There is no pan on this. This is just a sealed transmission. All you can do is fluid. You cannot do a filter. To do a filter, you gotta actually take this apart and you gotta split the case. There's an internal screen in there. So, what I'm gonna do is this one right here is more just like a vent. You can take it out, it doesn't really do much. I just take it all out right here. Uh, it's much easier, much faster. So, let me get a socket here and we'll get this done. Ah. I believe that's a 10 or an 11. So we'll just grab both so we know we're good. Grab all this. Now, this is a 10, too small, so it's going to be an 11. So yes, 11 millimeter does the trick. Now, my vehicle is warm, we just drove it around for a few hours. I would recommend doing that just to get all the fluid out so you know it's good. Um, some of you might disagree because then the threads and the aluminum are hot. It's up to you. I'm doing it while it's hot because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm kind of just doing what I can when I can. Uh, getting some paper towel here ready just because uh, I know it's going to make a, a little mess here. But uh, put your pan underneath it, real, real nice like. It's going to be nice and hot coming out too if you have your car warmed up, so keep that in mind. Ooh, that's warm. Yeah, she's a little, a little toasty, but uh, let's set your drain plug down. Uh, I do mine twice a year, and the reason why is because there's no filter it's just an internal screen and Ford recommends doing this every 150,000 miles that's bull crap this fluid will not last that long so for you know sixty dollars worth of fluid I would do it twice a year and be done and know my transmission is flush nice and good then uh, wait and then it goes out or something like that so 
basically just gonna let that sit there and uh, drain. Excuse my videotaping for this quick second. Uh, I don't have a tripod yet for my phone, so eventually when I do, then you guys can, uh, oh shit, see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try, no, it's not gonna work. I'm trying to prop you guys up, but it's not going so well. Um, but, uh, yeah, fun part of letting this drain out, and then, uh, put the stuff back in, and lower on down, and check the level, and fill it up, and all that good stuff. wonder if I can find, but, yeah, see how rusty this thing is underneath, though? Shit, that's not a hole in the frame at all, it's just where a normal hole would be, but, uh, I don't know if this would be easier to see. Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Yeah, it's it's rusty, though. You know, it's a 2008. She's seen better days. But, uh, you know, on your vehicle, if you don't have a, an edge of this year, uh, Look in your owner's manual and see. Make sure you buy the correct fluid. This takes Mercon 5, which is Mercon V. Do not use Type F. That's not for this transmission. So, that's one thing to always remember is always get the proper fluid for your vehicle. If you don't, you can mess it up. And transmissions are not cheap. But, uh... Yeah, this will be, uh... Done draining here in just a second. Just clean off my drain plug right now. Come on. I'm using my telephone or my cell phone to videotape all this stuff, so. Anybody wants to send me a camera, hey, that'd be great. And a tripod. I'd really appreciate if you guys would subscribe. If you're watching this, please subscribe because once I get to a thousand subscribers is when I start to make money. And I'd like to use that way to buy a camera, because I'd like to do better and more detailed videos for people to show them how to fix their own cars or do some tool reviews. So if you guys could subscribe, that'd just be excellent and awesome, and I'd really appreciate it. If I do hit a 1,000, I will be buying some tools to raffle off to people. Uh, so now it's basically all drained out. We're going to put the plug back in. And again, this is the bottom one, the top plug right here is going to the same thing. It's just, instead of taking two plugs out, I just take out the one. It drains out a little bit slower, but to me it's just, you know, easier. These are all sewn 11 millimeter or 7 sixteenths. Um, when you tighten these down, don't he-man it, just good and snug. It's steel into aluminum. You do not want to strip out your case. If you do that, you're going to have a bad day. I'm sure there's a torque spec for this, but I don't have it, so nice and snug is all I do. Right, that's good. And also, don't use an impact. Okay, these are not rated for impact use. Uh, you'll probably end up breaking something if you use an impact on it, really messing threads up. So, now we got all that done. We got the drain part done. We just got to fill it up now. And take off the jack stands. I'm going to put you guys down here for a second. <sighs> Sorry about that. This is all real time. Videotaping. No edits here. We just uh, roll stuff all the way through. I'll do a video on my air compressor. Found that at the side of the road. Just fix it up and works just fine. 
Okay. Can't wait to get my new corn roll toolbox or my cart, whatever you want to call it. Once I finally am able to get that, start to kind of reorganize all my stuff here a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go take off your out of your jack stand, jack your jack up more. And then pull your jack stand out. This jack is a piece of crap. Does not lower down slow. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Alright. So on your vehicle is all nice and level. This right here on your edge, so if you're looking at the car, you know, it's the front of the car. This is your transmission. This is oil. Don't put it in there. It's oil. Right here, see where it says Mercon V. It takes Mercon 5. Transmission fluid only is where you fill it up. It's also your dipstick. Okay. Pull it out. This is your dipstick. Now, I will say one thing. When you put fluid in here, do not pour it in fast because it will gurgle back up and blow up lower. You just do it very slowly. Now, I know everybody has real opinion on what kind of fluid brand to buy. I got this from Walmart. Yes, it's cheap, but this is a 182,000 mile car, 181,000 mile car. I'm not going to spend a fortune on a better quality fluid. This is what I've been using this whole life. I bought this with 71,000 on it. I've had no issues at all with my drivetrain, so this is what I'm sticking with. Uh, really hard to open with one hand. I'm going to try and set you guys in the... Ah, uh, shoot. i tell you what I'm going to do. Where is my fill in conjunction with this? Okay. Here's what I'm going to try and do here. This is really, really hard. Oh, wait, wait. That's not going to work. I really need a camera. Anybody wants to subscribe, that would just be great to where I can get an actual camera to hold you guys up. Uh, I need something to try and prop up here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, it's not going to work either. Jesus, I just, I can't win to lose here at this camera. Tell you what we'll do. That's the best you're going to get. My camera is not the best. But that's all I got. So. Oh, what the hell? Okay, apparently Walmart puts uh, these on their oil. Now you got to peel off. Did not know that. If I did, I would have done all these first. So, uh, my apologies for that, but, uh, Yeah, I, I put in five quarts, run the vehicle, check it. I think normally I put in like six or seven or something like that whenever I do this. Um, I usually use a bottle of Lucas, but uh, didn't have the money this time to buy it. So, but yeah, you want to kind of go slow with this, especially if it's cold. If, it's, if the engine is ice cold, if it's like 30 degrees out or less, uh, you really want to use, you know, really nice and slow. Right now, it's actually pretty warm out. It's odd for southeast Wisconsin in December. It was uh, like 56 out today or something. So, but yeah, basically go nice and slow with it. Fill her up.
these things are terrible. On these little white things. Also, too, when you take those off, do not let the plastic or white piece fall in there. Okay, be really careful with that. If that falls in there, that could block a line, block a hose, get stuck in your valve body. Uh, I can do plenty of damage to your engine, so make sure you don't drop that in here at all. If you're, you know, don't want to risk that, get a get a, uh, a funnel that has a screen on the bottom and use that. This way, no contaminants or anything get in here. Um, I trust myself. I've done this enough years to where uh, I feel safe doing this. But, uh, by the way, if you guys have any automotive questions, tool questions, diesel questions, let me know. I work on everything, school buses, trucks, uh, cars, vans, SUVs. I work on pretty much everything out there. So, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Kids around here are annoying. Yelling, screaming. Jesus. Okay. Make sure you count how many quarts you put in too. I bought uh, eight quarts, so if I need spares, I'd have extra. Uh, but uh, like I say. This is court number three. I'm going to put in five. We'll run it. We'll check it. And then uh, we'll go from there. It's a good idea to go out for a drive, too, when you see it's in the full range while it's hot. Go for a nice test drive. Bring it back. Check the fluid level again. Uh, I'll be doing that later just because for right now. Got a lot to do yet. Go back to work on Thursday. Work a short day Thursday, Friday off the weekend again. Hope you guys all had a safe Christmas and a good Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever it is you guys celebrate. Also, hope you have a good New Year. Uh, be safe. Don't get drunk. Or if you do, don't drive, at least, I should say. Uh, behave yourselves. A lot of crazy people on the roads these days. Um, when I get my new toolbox, I'll do a review on that. I'm hoping to get Thursday. That's my goal. But uh, we'll see. Cornwall guy comes on uh, Thursdays, so as soon as uh, he does end up coming, then uh, he'll hopefully have my box. It is used. It's just a used Cornwall cart, but it's cheap. It's a truck account, so I can afford it because I don't have a lot of money right now because uh, Christmas kind of, you know, did me in, but uh, that's all right. Um... This does help when your engine is hot too because the fluid just flows right down a lot easier versus when it's really cold. But, uh, yeah. It's one of those fun things you gotta do on cars, but. Same with coolant. I, uh, I did an alternator in this vehicle a couple months ago. And, uh, I really wanted to do a video on it, but I was in a rush, had to get done, didn't have time to, to record it. But, uh,. It's actually pretty easy. A lot of people think it's hard. I thought it was going to be hard, and then when I did it the second time, because the first alternator from AutoZone was junk, I had to take it back out, and I figured out the way I do it now is a lot quicker. I had it out in 20 minutes, whereas the first time took me four hours. So I can make a video. If you guys have a question about alternators, let me know. I'll do it again. It's not hard to do at all. It's pretty fast. comes out through the top of the engine. So this is court number five.
30. Now, if you have a Honda, only use Honda Fluo. Do not go and buy stuff from Walmart. Like, I would not be putting this in a Honda if I had a Honda. Hondas, for whatever reason, I've seen a lot when I used to work at the automotive shops. If you put a generic fluid in a Honda or a Nissan, they always had transmission problems afterwards. So if you got a Honda, go out and buy actual OEM Honda fluid from the dealership uh, and to save yourself a long-term issue. Um, you know, I know dealerships are expensive, but better spend, you know, $400 in fluid than 4000 in a transmission, especially if you're out of warranty, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, alrighty. That is five quarts. Man, it got as cold that it just won't go away. I blow my nose all day. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dipstick here. Put her back in there. Grab you some keys. Okay. Yep, mileage right there. Now, when you do your transmission, what I like to do, so, 181,000, 121. Now my car clearly is warmed up. You can see, you know, it's it's nice and toasty-ish. Yeah, not bad though. 54 degrees out, December 30th or 29th, whatever it is today. I'm happy with that. Uh, I got the camera upside down. My bad, people. Let me. There we go. Now we're right side up. You want to take your shifter here, put it in reverse, foot on the brake, and reverse. Neutral. Drive. Low. Back to drive. Back to neutral. Back to reverse. Park. The reason you do this for is because you want to get all your, your, your valve body has springs and little balls in it and little valleys and stuff like that. When you go through all different gears and everything, different valves will open in the transmission so you want to get all the air that'd be in there out and you also want fluid in every crevice you can so this way your level is more accurate when you check it um that's why it's good to go for a drive when you're done doing your flush and then come back and recheck the level um i'll do that later on um i'll probably make a second video to this just to show you guys but you know do this a few times so you know for a fact you're getting the fluid out or the fluid going through the system here uh you know, and your car might have a drive two and then one, or drive low and then an I above if you have a cobalt or something. Just every one that's on here, just go through them a couple of different times. Okay. Now on this car, the reader owner's manual, on this car, it shows to check the fluid level, idling, and park with the engine warmed up. Now, obviously, this thing was warmed up before. The fluid... Uh, it was cold when I put it in there, but it's it's pretty warm up now. I'm gonna check it anyway, just to ensure the fact that uh, you know it's good enough. We'll see where we're at. I'm gonna set you guys back down. Well, that didn't work out, and I did it. All right, well, I guess I'm not going to set you guys down then. I'll have to do it all one-handed, so. Give me a second. Okay. Got my uh, hand protectors on because, yes, I don't like getting my hands full of fluid and dirt because my hands are dry enough as it is. I don't need to keep washing them every five seconds here. So, you're going to pull your dipstick out. 
Okay. Try to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna pull it out, clean off the end of it so it's real, real nice and clean. I'm gonna turn off my camera or my uh, light and see if it helps you guys with. Uh, uh, I guess I can't. I'm already recording. But uh, basically. Yeah, you want it to be cleaned off though. There's a full and a minimal mark, so you want to drop it on the floor first. That usually helps. Uh, adds horsepower. Just kidding. Get her in there. Tighten it down. Pull it up. Now, you, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Probably, no, obviously you can't. I wish this would have focused. My light's just too bright, I guess. Uh, it's at the minimum level. So we need to add about another quarter or two. It's right at the minimum mark. So I really wish this would have focused since you guys could have seen this. Well, sorry, I ain't gonna show it, but we are short about two quarts, quart, two quarts. So I'm gonna add in those two quarts and then uh, fill it up, top it off. I'll go test drive it, bring it back, make sure it's still full, and it'll be good. So I, that was five quarts. I gotta add at least one more, probably two. So if you're gonna do this on your Ford Edge, get eight quarts just so you know you have enough. Um, if you're gonna put Lucas in here, Lucas is one quart. So if you get eight quarts, you take one off, put a bottle of Lucas in instead, and it'll be fine. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, if you have any questions on a Ford Edge, I'm not going to say I'm an expert on these, but um, I'm as close to an expert as you're going to find without spending $110 at a dealership. So. Uh, I did it all turn way down in there. It was easy as hell the second time. I've done plugs in the back of these several times. Easy as heck to do. Uh, battery, you know, air filter, hoses, thermostat, you name it. I can do it. Let me know what you guys need help with. Um, have a great night or day, wherever it is, wherever you are. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.